Well, all right, all right, all right, all right. Shamir, Hollywood, Mr. Bright Lights, Mr. Episode, Jimmy Gordon, Detective Armstrong in the upcoming BMF 50 Cent produced series. I'm just, I'm just claiming it, baby. I'm claiming it. You're going to see me. I'm Victor in Adultish, uh, Detective Smiley on uh, Detective Smiley on uh, Amazon's The G, which is currently three episodes in on uh, Amazon. I play Detective Smiley. Episode four is coming, which will be the season finale. So I'm somewhere that's reasonably say I'm some everywhere. So let's get to it. Now this one, I'm going to scatter a little bit because uh, I'm going I'm to do recent and I'm going to go backwards. So it's going to be a series of, of events. So here we go. I'm out here with the Beagle. Wait. Wait, there he is. I'm out here. So I normally say I'm still handsome even though you can't see me. But uh, just to give you some pastoral. Okay. Here we go. So last night, I'm hanging out. Uh, my buddy Elizabeth. You know, we just we we're celebrating um, the success of I broke her back, and uh, just having a couple beverages, having a good time. And the bartender, yo, Jay Lett, what's up, baby? So, um, the bartender, who's very light, like very, like uh, what was it, Moon Pie? Moon pie, light, really light, like really light. Um, she comes over, and she she's been pretty hospitable, and she comes over, and I'm 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 in the middle of a smile. I'm in the middle of a smile. I'm I'm sitting there, listening like cracking jokes or what have you, and I, I'm a pretty much a happy dude. Yo, Macadoo, what's up, my dude? I'm pretty much a happy dude. Anybody knows me knows I'm pretty jovial, jocular. I'm, I, I I keep trying to be as upbeat as possible. Um, so. She comes over and immediately says, what you smiling for? First, I didn't know she was talking to me because I was in the middle of sipping my Heineken and just oblivious because I was in my moment. And she says, she says you. <laughs> Macadoo, my dude. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, she's you. What you what you smiling for? I said, well, I'm alive and I'm handsome. And immediately, she goes, she smacks her lips and says, who told you that? I said, excuse me? She says, who told you you were handsome? I said, uh, if you must know, more, most importantly, myself, first and foremost, and there are plenty of ladies, a lot of ladies who have said Jim is handsome. But like I said, she says, oh, really? I said, yeah. I said, it's part of my daily affirmations because I do them. And she said, so, hmm. so you think you all that? I said, oh, my goodness. No, no. I knew I'm all that. She said, mm hmm. Got a little red in the face. Had a few other things to say that I ignored. And I just thought to myself. I said, I wonder if she was dark like me, or I would like like her, would that have been a thing? I think we're going somewhere we ain't supposed to go, Scoot. We're walking over the, I think we're going to walk over the golf course just because we feel like doing that. That was just funny to me. So Elizabeth and I continued talking. She said, yeah, you know, you know what that was, right? I said, what? She said, that was that light skin stuff. I said, oh! I said, that's what I say. I said, no wonder we get along. Okay, moving along. So, let's keep it going. Going backwards now. I'm going backwards. Stay with me. So, going back to high school now. I'm in high school. You know, a lot of y'all know I went to Lindblom. And there was a woman in my senior year of school who I liked. We'll call her Lita Singleton. And Lita... I never really noticed that Lita was light. I never really paid attention to it. I just thought we hit it off. I never really paid attention to it. Sorry, I put my gloves on. I got a little chilly. Warm. When you buy some water, the wind starts to pick up and everything. So bear with me. So, we 
we talking back and forth. We in the English class together and everything. And then, so we're, we're liking them. We exchange phone numbers. And it's a big deal because a lot of y'all know, a lot of y'all know I'm a nerd. You know I'm the shit. I'm a nerd. I told y'all this. I keep emphasizing. I'm a nerd. Video games. Video games. And so on and so forth. Uh, so, <clears throat> so Lita and I are talking back and forth on the phone. I'm, I'm thinking, you know, now this is 17, 16, 17 year old me. And I'm thinking that I had like, kind of like I think now, we exchange numbers and we're talking on the phone and we get some sort of like and, and want so on and so forth. And we're going to movies and everything that we got something going. Now I know you gotta have that discussion, but we got something going. So it comes up one day, and I'm thinking about, hey, so what you thinking for prom? I'm like, okay, we are gonna go to prom. I was like, man, I gotta, cause I, I thought it was gonna be me. <clears throat> and so she says, oh my God, you know, I wanna wear purple to prom. I said, man, I like purple, that'd be cool. She says, well, you can't wear the same thing I'm wearing. I said, well, I thought couples wore the same thing. She says, no, you better be glad I'm letting you go with somebody else. I, if you can see my face right now, my face is like. My face was like, oh shit. I was like, huh? Man, to say I was messed up was an understatement. I couldn't, my, my little 16, 17 year old heart couldn't take it. <laughs> I couldn't take it right then and there. I just thought, wow, what are we doing? And then so then it just became other shenanigans. We'd be on the phone and then she's like, oh, I, I got another call. I ain't know nothing about the call waiting too much back then during that time. And just would not call me, you know, all, all type of bullshit. It was just rotten. It was just, just bad. You know, in retrospect, people, we've had a good fun, a lot of fun with this series. Uh, truth be told, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a do something a little different than I normally have. I'm a end with something positive. In my college days, there was a woman. Her name was Latunja. Now, I bet Latunja under some funny. Latunja was really like. Long black hair, slender, glasses. Y'all know I love women with glasses. She got glasses. So, um, I guess she was seeing this dude, and because I've been talking to her, whatever, and like back and forth, and I guess she was seeing this dude. Because one day, it was a Wednesday, I was working in the learning assistant center as an English tutor, and 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 I'm, I'm watching, and I see her lead with him. I see her leave with him. And it's like, oh shit. Well, what's that? So they leave together, and so then the next day, she's on me. And I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, all right. And she had a son. She had a son. She told me she had a son, what have you, and parents were really strict and all that shit. Wild wow stuff, man. So. Uh, we started seeing each other after a while, and it was really good. And, you know, she was really, she's really cool people. But, and, you know, we were really going, and I thought we were going some places. You know how you meet somebody and it's in college, and you think, oh, shit, this may be the person I'm with the rest of the life or what have you. But then, then, one day she was talking. She felt like the need to be honest. And I believe in honesty, but shit. She says... She says, you know, uh, remember that day uh, when you asked me was I with somebody or whatever? I said, yeah. She said, I was with this dude, Tony. Yeah, my battery then went down. All right, and, uh, all right, Pete. I don't know, that was quick. That was quick. All right, I'm going to go and shut it down because my battery went low. I'll finish up a little later.